Hi friends, welcome to Afar Studies YouTube channel. In this video, we will discuss about how we can have a model in a AI foundry and then programmatically hit that model and ask questions to that model and get answer from it, uh, especially in Python code. How to do that? Let's try to explore it now. So I am navigating to my Azure portal. I have a AI foundry resource. Click this go to AI foundry portal. It will open AI foundry studio and that's where you can work with the AI foundry resource. In this case, AI Mahir DOC, that is the resource name. Uh, here, uh, you, you can navigate to models and endpoints section here. So this menu helps you to show all the model deployments what you have. So for example, GPT 4.1, text embedding, three small. I have two models already in my AI foundry resource. Uh, let me create a fresh new model uh, to show you how it will look like. So deploy a base model, so I can choose that option and it will give you a various options to select the model. And we know that in recent times we have so many models. We have models from Cloudia, we have models from OpenAI, which are GPT, we have so many others, right? So we can pick any of these models. So maybe, maybe I will pick this GPT-4 model, okay? So let me take that and let me hit confirm to create that model deployment. So when I do that, that means in my foundry resource, I have the model resource created indirectly. Now I can make use of this resource to ask any questions and get answers from it. Okay. So if I go back to this menu, that is model send points, you see the model what I just now got created. It came as one of the entry here. And when I click this button, it will op I will go inside a model and uh, this is where I can see the programmatic sample approach also using which you can prompt with that model and get answers to it. Okay, and this is what the code we are going to try. Not only in Python, you can try other languages also by changing this filter or drop down here. Okay, so what I'm going to do, so I wanted, I'm okay with the key authentication in a Python language. That's what I'm using it here. So what it is trying to say is, initially write this code where you are importing OS and then importing Azure OpenAI library. Uh, and uh, obviously you need to install a OpenAI uh, library or a package in, in your Python environment. Then finally write this whole code. So let me quickly write this code and uh, show you how it will look like. Okay. So what I will do, I will go to my Visual Studio code. So I have a Visual Studio code and right now there is something called testing.py. Let me create a new file, maybe openai.py file. So this is where I want to write the code. So what I will be doing it here is, uh, I will be, uh, uh, firstly, I have to install the OpenAI, uh, OpenAI uh, package. So what I will do here is um, pip install OpenAI. I can execute this command to install the OpenAI package in my global because right now this terminal works on the global. That means within on the whole system. Okay. And uh, one, the installation is done. Uh, and now what I will be doing it is maybe I will take this whole code and I'll, I will try to explain you what it is trying to talk about it. So let me copy the whole code and let me print it here. And if I minimize and if I see here, basically I'm importing a OS and then I'm importing the Azure OpenAI library. Then your uh, endpoint for your model and uh, the model name GPT-4 did the, the deployment name. So from where this model name and deployment name came, uh, this code will automatically get it anyways, but still you can go back. You see the model name is GPT-4. Uh, sorry, model name is GPT-4 and the deployment name is also GPT-4. That's what we are using it here. And it is asking me to use a API key here. That means to the model, there will be a key. So to know that, open that model and you see the key button there. So copy that key and uh, simply paste it here. So I will be deleting these models anyhow. So don't try with this key guys. Uh, now the preview API version is 2024. This is the default value. Whatever it came, you just take it from the code. And then what it is doing is using that Azure OpenAI class, we are creating a client object and on the client object chart completions create. So basically we are creating a chart where I am, pro I will be prompt something and get a response back to it. And what I am prompting it here, I am telling you are a helpful assistant and I am going to Paris. What should I see? So that's the, that's my question to my GPT-4 model. And I wanted to get an answer and whatever the response I'm getting, I'm, I'm storing it here. And that response in, that response will be a JSON response in which under choices array, there is, there might be something called a message key under which 
a key called content which holds the output from the GPT-4 model. So let's try to quickly run this code and see how it will behave. So in the terminal I am typing python space openai.py and uh, let me hit enter. Uh, I see some error here. Let me check what it is. Okay. Seems some conflict with my Azure OpenAI library. So what I will do it is uh, let me try to have a virtual environment first. Uh, if you guys know how to create a virtual environment, uh, if you don't know how to do that, uh, I have created a video for it uh, in my Python playlist. So virtual environment means having your own OS, uh, a limited sandbox kind of environment. All the required packages you will install it there. So the command will be python space hyphen m means model evnv virtual environment maybe yenv my env. So when I run this command it should create a virtual environment called my env. You see that folder is coming. It will take a couple of seconds. So, so basically a mini version of a system you will be having it in the inside that system you will be having a python 2. So that my env folder itself like a runtime environment or the OS or the system where I can run my Python code actually. So it will take a couple of seconds as I said. Once it is done, uh, you see that it is done now. So what I can do inside this my env folder, I will be having a scripts and active. So when I run that, I will actually activate my virtual environment. So what I will do under my env scripts active. So now I am inside the virtual environment. This, this green color text will show that to me. And now here I will say pip install open a right. So what is what is what was the library name which we have to install? If I go back, it is open a. So let me hit enter now, and uh, let's get the open a environment in that particular virtual environment first, and then I will run this Python file on that environment to make sure this whole code runs. Where I am prompting this, I am going to Paris. What should I see? And I should get a response back, and it should get print here. Okay, since OpenAI module got installed, to quickly check, I will use the uh, let me CLS. So let me run a command pip list, and uh, it should list down the installed packages. And I I am seeing the OpenAI too. So let me type CLS here, and then let me try to run Python space OpenAI dot py file. I am still seeing an error. One second. Okay, so the issue was mainly because of the file name. I have named it openai.py and if you see, I am, I, am, I am actually installing a openai module only, pip install. So it will create a conflict. That's the error it was coming. So I renamed the file name to ai model now. Let me save these changes. So let me run this code now, python space ai model and see if it will get a answer back for us or not. I am seeing some error one second guys. Sorry, I have to change this to OpenAI. OpenAI. So from OpenAI, right? So that's the code, right? If I can see there. Uh, sorry, uh, this is not the one. So our model is GPT-4. So let me go inside of it. And uh, if I see the code here, from OpenAI, okay. Yeah, from OpenAI, import this. So let me save these changes. And then let me run this code now. Now this time I should be seeing the response coming back. And the prompt going to my GPT model is this one. I am going to Paris. What should I do? Or what should I see? Uh, and uh, the output will get print in the terminal. So let's wait for the execution to complete here. Cool. You see that we got a response. And Paris is filled with iconic landmarks, blah, 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 and Eiffel Tower, museum, lot of things it is suggesting as right. So basically, I'm able to prompt to my model and get the answers back. So as simple, uh, go to, uh, to quickly recap, go to the foundry, go to model space endpoints, create a model, go inside the model and install the required package and copy this sample code directly into your python and make sure when you are copy pasting it into a python file you should not name the python file with the name of the library you can name it something else and uh, then directly execute the code by using it here you will get a response back in a terminal that means programmatically i am able to hit my model and uh, prompt to it and get answers from it 
so that's it in this video i hope now you got an idea how to write a code uh, using which you can hit a models and get the response back thank you for watching have a nice day